Ah, uh, out. Look, up in the sky, it's a bird. It's a plane. It's a podcast, podcast about, about Superman. Superman. If you're just back joining us, this is part two of our exclusive conversation with Chris Nolan. Oh, yeah, baby. So that last episode ended pretty abrupt, abruptly because um, we had other shit to do. Yeah. <laughs> We, um, we don't so, have time to just yeah. sit around talking so about if, Superman. So if you've been um, directed here by idiot Jake from the future, um, sorry that he's such an idiot, because uh, this episode comes before that episode, but that's okay. Once it's all released, nobody cares. For a week, people aren't going to know what you're talking <sighs> Who about. Who knows, man? Who freaking knows? Um, anyway, but it's kind of perfect because Justice League has come out. We talk about it a little bit on the Catching Up show, but I wanted to save kind of more of like the Cavill era for this because it's kind of a perfect time. Because there's quite a transformation that happens, and a lot that happens. If you think about it, you know, granted, it's not Man of Steel 1, 2, and 3. It really is kind of a Superman trilogy in its own right. Mm-hmm. Um, and, you know, I always kind of, like, in the past have um, uh, talked about how I hate, like, retroactively loving a movie. But that's happened a lot with Man of Steel. Um, yeah, I've always said uh, over and over again that my favorite viewing I'll ever have Man of Steel is the second time I saw it in theaters. And that happens a lot with the DC movies, to be fair, because the shock of like e- it either being not good at all, except for Suicide Squad, not being good at all. <laughs> because or, it wasn't not good at all. Yeah, it was, it was a fucking good. genius movie. <laughs> um, the second time you saw it in theaters was fantastic. Yeah, I did see it a second time. But <gasps> Sorry, I saw that's, it three times. Yeah. Because um, I worked at a movie theater at the time. I, uh, I, I, promised, I promised my sis, so... Um, but uh, I the, the movies I, I I still think you know Wonder Woman is is it its own thing you know what I mean it's just it's it's so high above the other DC EU movies except for the third act um, but Man of Steel like in terms of the three Superman movies you know we've we've got it's the most competent story I mean it's the mo- in terms of like it it's pretty solid in terms of its plot. For the most part, you know what I mean. It's it it it'll live in infamy for its destruction in the end, for you know all the chaos, and you know really the next two movies are born out of that mistake, really of having you know it's it's just they put too much destruction in it, and Superman is so iconic, even though people who don't, um, I'm Jake by the way, <laughs> Sam and Chris are here, Hi. but um, hey, oh. <laughs> we uh, it you know this is like a a, a Kevin Smith style introduction, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> let me suck my own dick. <laughs> Um, but, uh, uh, I don't, I don't remember what I was talking about. Just, it, it, you know, basically, uh, we get, um, Superman is so iconic. Everyone knows who Superman is that they just accepted, ex- expect him to save everybody. You also throw the line in, you could save them, you could save everyone, Cal. Uh, and then he doesn't, <laughs> you know, not even close. Um, but again, that's what makes Superman so much, so, you know, Superman so great is that he can't save everyone, but that doesn't stop him from trying. Uh, so anyway, Chris, uh, give us a little bit of background. We all could, you know, jump in. This is, you know, about because we're talking about these three movies, but really we'll get in depth about Justice League. But give us kind of your background on Man of Steel because we were not doing this podcast when Man of Steel dropped. That is a fact. Um, so Man of Steel was probably the first Superman movie that I actively did not like. Okay. Oddly enough. Um, Mostly because of uh, their portrayal of Pa Kent, mm-hmm. uh, because to me, like Pa Kent is the, uh, the he's the Uncle Ben of Superman. You know, he's the moral compass sure. uh, uh, for for Superman, and uh, the like every other Pa Kent that I've you know been exposed to is always like, well, here's here's the good thing about humanity. You know, here's what you you know like got to strive for. Here's mm-hmm. You know why it's so important for you to use your powers for good, you know. And then, um, it's, it's Kevin Costner. Kevin Costner. Right? Yeah. And then Kevin Costner. Waterworld's Kevin Costner. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the Postman's. Yeah. Who? Three thousand miles to Graceland's Kevin Costner. Yeah. yeah. Mr. Brooks. <laughs> I like that. Movie. I like that movie. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do like that movie yeah. quite a bit, actually. Uh, <laughs> good job, Kevin Costner. Yeah. And, good job, and Kevin Dane Costner. Cook. Yes. Yes. Yeah. He yes. gets his throat slit by a shovel. Yeah. I'm not oh. saying spoilers. Fuck you. Go see it. Yeah. Yeah. Um, he, I'm sorry you didn't, you didn't say who did. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Well, yeah. Uh, <laughs> they're going to get to that he scene p- and be like, he, fuck. He pisses his pants <laughs> at one point. Oh, yeah. Uh, 
spoilers yeah um <laughs> but uh but yeah so then Ke- uh <laughs> mr brooks is uh kevin costner comes along uh and don't you mean no way outs kevin costner <laughs> Robin Hood's Kevin Costner. Men, yeah. Prince of I was saying, I was, oh, I was, right, right. Sorry, I sorry. Men in <laughs> I was like, it's a Robin Hood movie. Yeah. He plays Robin Hood. Yeah. Um, yes, Prince of Thieves Kevin Costner yeah. comes along Bold and goes... Bull Durham's Kevin Costner? Jesus Christ, let's stop. <laughs> no, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to Chris Nolan this. <laughs> Silverado's <laughs> Kevin Costner? Dances with Wolves Kevin okay, Costner. Okay, let's end it on that. Oh, oh okay. Yeah, let's end it on, let's end it on the, that movie. You obviously don't know how to Chris Nolan something. I don't know. <laughs> For I, Love of the Games? Kevin oh, Costner? yeah. <laughs> Feel the dreams, Kevin yeah, Costner. Yeah. There we go. There we go. Oh, I feel my okay. heart. That's okay. My, mm, okay. We can uh, stop yeah, at that yeah. one. Yeah. Oh, there we go. Mm. Yeah. Uh, comes along. <laughs> yeah. And all he does is says, "Hide who you are. Don't yeah. don't use your powers ever. Even if it can save someone, don't risk exposing A yourself." Busworths of someone. Yeah. 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 He he scolds Clark for. Using his powers to save a bus full of innocent students. I understand mm-hmm. the like midnight special like fear uh, because that's what midnight special was about. Uh, uh, m- uh, fear. Uh, I've never seen it. I just know the plot. I actually uh, dug it. I mean, yeah. No, yeah. Uh, Jake gave it a thumbs down. Yeah, it was bummed. Uh, we love a lot. You're the deciding vote, Chris. Yeah. All right, well, I guess th- it was awful. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I, I guess I'll watch it now. The uh, to hell. <laughs> <laughs> just like just like the excess members of Destiny's Child at that one Super Bowl halftime show. Yeah. <laughs> uh, so Kevin Costner comes Thanks for along. Your per- 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 participation. Participation. As thanks they go for your back precipitation. <laughs> yeah, thanks for your precipitation. Uh, prodigitatious. Yeah. Um, I don't even know what I'm quoting when I say that. But uh, but I so I understand the like fear of the dark. Um, Fear of the dark. Thank you. Uh, with uh, eventually, I'll make a point instead of making references to other things. But uh, so he's, you know, I understand him not wanting Clark's powers to be exposed. Mm-hmm. Um, that was an interesting beat. Yeah, but then they kept it going. Yeah, exactly. Uh, I I did like the stuff with like him like locking himself in like a school yeah. closet and Martha. The world's Martha. Too, the world's too big, mom. That's yeah, great, great I, that was a beautiful scene. Mm-hmm. But like the the Pa Kent just kind of ruined the first act of the movie for me uh, in in that regard, especially like the him sacrificing himself in the yeah. tornado. Like that was supposed to be like a oh so emotionally moving scene, and I was just like, all he's been doing is telling Clark not to help people. Yeah, I mean, I I will admit the first time I saw it, I was like oh, but then you think <laughs> about it. And you're like, the point of uh, Paul Kent having a heart attack is that Superman, with all those powers, can't save yes, him. Yes, exactly. Beautiful way uh, to, to, to show, you know, like, uh, you know, Clark's uh, or Superman, mm-hmm. moreovers, uh, overarching, like, I have to save everyone that I possibly can, you know, uh, attitude that he has later in life is because he's trying to, you know, in some, you know, subconscious way, like make up for the fact that he was not strong, quote unquote, yeah. strong enough to stop a heart attack. Yeah. Uh, which you know he has no business thinking that he could have stopped. Yeah, I mean that that would that would place a, like a trauma on him mm-hmm. that you said like you said would inspire him. Yeah. And like you know as opposed to like the death of a family, you know the death of a family member or death of someone you care about in the comics and the superheroes is so important it sounds terrible but like shaping these characters mm-hmm. and, and they'll deal different ways you know like frank castle deals a very different way than say clark kent does and bruce wayne yeah. does and, yeah. and spider-man does you know peter parker so mm-hmm. yeah i mean it, that that the um you know hatfield and mccoy's kevin costner like the whole fucking <laughs> that's a great miniseries fuck you um oh no no i'm i'm just flicking you on I because i said because <laughs> i thought we had all agreed to stop hey that's tv <laughs> okay oh, oh, okay don't fuck with me <laughs> that's that's <laughs> don't fuck with this that's tv <laughs> you know jesus TV christ i got your tv right yeah, here <laughs> yeah um Kevin Costner and Modern Wests. Yes, there. Kevin the, the, That's music. The, the soundtrack to <laughs> Hatfield and McCoy's, yes. Um, I didn't mention Kevin Costner's Open Range, one of the gr- his great third movie he directed. See, but that's a film. That's, that's great. a film. That's great. I, didn't, I said I didn't mention it. You just did. <laughs> no, I said I didn't mention that movie. 
open range with a great shootout in the end. Anyway, you guys um, know way too much about Kevin Costner. <laughs> I love Kevin Costner, even though I, even I though do. <laughs> even, even though I, even though I shouted "fuck you" once during the water uh, the water world. Uh, thing. <laughs> but well, we, we were all in a different state of mind during water world. Yeah, I was yeah. very angry. That's a matter of public record yeah. now, too. I know. You can, I, I don't. You can get that commentary on YouTube. Yeah, <laughs> I don't. I don't mean it, Mr. Costner. Okay, I do not mean it. Um, no, but talking about Paul Kent, like that kind of character flaw of that of of kind of missing the point with that character is kind of the way you could talk about the entire yeah and the like, entire basis of it being wrong and like I, for man of steel now that we're talking about it i feel like i even say as much in the man of steel commentary where like this is kind of like the linchpin point in the series where like we're like oh, okay this is why this superman is so different mm-hmm. you know like because like as much as i don't like not having you know the the last boy scout superman uh, Bruce Willis. That's right. Uh, <laughs> Directed by Shane Black. Yeah, it's a terrible movie. I've seen it. It's, it no, it's written by Shane Black. Yeah, written Sorry. written by Shane Black. Um, uh, it's directed by someone good, though. Like, I was expecting more from it. Yeah. Yeah. We, we all do. Uh, <laughs> um, but it's on my Laserdisc collection over there, uh, if you guys want to borrow it. Uh, <laughs> and a Laserdisc player. I have a spare one uh, now. But... Um, so uh like I so you you see you know I I like Boy Scout Superman. Of course. And like it makes sense that Cavill's Superman is not a Boy Scout because of everything that we talked about with uh um I don't know another Kevin Costner movie or TV show. So that Kevin Costner. The what's that Madonna documentary? <laughs> <laughs> that he shows up in uh, uh, truth uh, is that what it is okay uh, uh, truth or dare truth or dare yeah yep. um where he says that her per- her concert was neat <laughs> yeah. to her face yeah <laughs> man why am i blanking on all these kevin costner movies though it kind of bums me out white herbs kevin Wyatt Cost- fucking herb <sighs> wow get out i'm, uh, I'm right, stopping right, this podcast right See now yep. if you couldn't See remember you. fucking Wyatt yep. herb you're actually walking right. away you put down the headphones nice right. you're committing <laughs> to this bit <laughs> Uh, <laughs> you, you, I mean, uh, I mean, Sam and I can talk about Superman yeah. for a bit if you um, want to go piss. No. Uh, but, <laughs> but, uh, but yeah. So like, nobody pisses. <laughs> nobody fucking pisses. <laughs> Why do you look at me when you say that? Yeah, Sam just takes dumps. Yeah, well, that's true. My bad. All my of bad. his waste is uh, is is sent out. Phys- not physically because it's Solidly. all physical. Solid. Yeah, sure. Solid. Uh, my man. Uh, <laughs> but. How fucking dope was it when he rides that parademon? We all oh, saw it, so it in the good. trailers, it so but good. like I got goosebumps both times I saw it because he's just whole, like, yeah, and just well, then the 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 the, the you, we see him riding the thing, but we see the whole sequence, the of whole the movie, sequence, and that's what like really activated how cool it was. But uh, but yeah, so Paul Kent, <laughs> Paul Kent is dead, uh, and uh, I felt no emotions from it. Uh, that's not true. It sucks when anyone dies, but, um, but yeah, so, so we get this like stoic kind of removed Superman, which to me is more of a, like, uh, you know, return from the dead Superman versus, you know, like, uh, ah, first day on the job Superman. Um, so like just in general, like I, the, that whole movie, I was kind of off emotionally, you know, and I, I wasn't invested in this Superman because he wasn't like, to me, it was more like. The movie Hancock, um, although it was funny, like Hancock was funny, uh, but like you know, how it's a, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, Deconstruction? Eh, no, like like the, just like the, his personality. Oh, yeah. Uh, 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 reluctant. Sure. He, it, yes. seemed, it, it felt like a reluctant Superman. He was like, well, I mean, fuck it. I guess I have I these have, powers. Yeah. Mm-hmm. The I'll great s- power, great responsibility feeling yeah. instead of like, I should inspire. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, I saw that Spider-Man movie. I guess I should listen to the thing that they said every 10 minutes. <laughs> In all the first five. Yeah. Thank well, the you. First, they, first three, they and then, skirt around it, and then they're right. like, Thank you, Spider-Man if you have a homecoming." Yeah, yeah, if you have the, it's like it's, you have the moral obligation to do that right thing, and it's like, come on, that's that's worse than just saying it, man. Yeah. Like, just, just say just it, say it, just say it, Martin Sheen, yeah. President Bartlett. Yeah. Come on, go yeah. for it. Uh, <laughs> uh, West Wings, Martin Sheen. Um, Damn, who mm-hmm. spawns Martin oh. Sheen? Martin Sheen, baby. I love Spawn. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the fucking the fucking gift men. Yeah. Oh yeah. Um, 
<laughs> we're Jesus. in hell, and we all look the same. We're we all look spawns. like we're in Madden 64. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Michael J. Side, White did fine. the mocap for all of those guys, which is to no, say for he one did of those guys. <laughs> the joke was, yeah. which is to say he did mocap for one guy, and they just duped it. At different points, though. I ruined it. Yeah, you did. You fucking get out of here. God, I feel like I'm. That's <laughs> shit. That sucks, man. Uh, much like the mocap on those guys, <laughs> yeah, or the fact that they all looked like two D, yeah, animations in a three D world, yeah, or the fact that the the Very quote Kombat. unquote devil never closed his mouth, yeah. uh, <laughs> even though he spoke, well, his tongue is just like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> But this isn't a Spawn podcast. <laughs> it could be. I don't give a shit. Yeah, right. <laughs> it's your joint. Yeah, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, and then, and then, like I, like it didn't. There was there was so much wanton destruction that Superman wasn't stopping. Mm-hmm. That his spoilers killing um, Zod at the end of it meant nothing as well. Like I was sure. like, oh, okay, yeah, he he beat the villain. Yeah. Yeah, it's like, how, like it was, does he it, find it clearly, life precious? Yeah, clearly it was shot in a way that you were supposed to be like, oh my god! Mm-hmm. But like it was like, okay, he killed another person. Yeah. Or let another person die, you know? You see the behind-the-scenes footage where Zack Snyder is so like excited when he shows Henry Cavill. Yeah, his, oh yeah, I saw that. Like, yeah, 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 and it's like, you meathead. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. so yeah, like, uh, so... I did. I, I will say um, the. Uh, I did like the actor who played Zod. Oh, really? Michael yeah. Shannon. I like Michael yeah. Shannon, but Midnight I, Specials. Yeah. Oh, you, should, yeah, you know, right. you, you might like. You should watch it. I think. You, I think you dig it. I, yeah. It's not a bad movie. I, just, I probably I would. Like it. It's just when it came out, I had no idea what it was about, and by yeah. the time I don't found, read anything about it. Yeah. By the time I heard, like, just like the little drip drop that it was basically Smallville. Uh, in it, well, it was basically like the Kent family, like with the the like, uh, or at least that's what I heard. Yeah. That it was a uh, you know. The, the dad hiding or parents hiding a son's special abilities yeah. or whatever. But yeah, it's basically. Um, like I was like, oh, that might be cool. Yeah, but I no, just I, I haven't and I haven't I haven't looked it out or sought it out. Yeah, I uh I didn't I, I did not like uh I like Michael Shannon a lot. I did not yeah. like his Zod, and also I hope we don't see Zod anymore in Superman stuff for a you while. You don't want to see his butt again. Do you see his butt in in Batman vs Superman? Uh no. He, he, <laughs> It's, you it's see, naked there's, body. there's there is naked Zod yeah. corpse. Yeah, yeah. For but some reason, I thought you saw his butt. I don't think you do. I saw his butt <laughs> <laughs> in here. Yeah, <laughs> and in here. here. <laughs> um. So anyway, yeah. I mean, you know, Man of Steel. Like we're all you pointing know, at her dicks. Let's yeah. Yes. <laughs> uh, Both times. Yeah. Like, uh, you know, like with Snyder's strength is like you know, there's some very visually great appealing shots. You know, one, one shot that neat I'm, action sequences. Yeah, yeah. Like, I mean, there's there's one like shot John that, Romita Jr.'s art. Like the, yeah. the action oh, nice. sequences look cool. Nice. Very good. I like that. Bam. Um, Pow! Is uh, a jumping. shot a shot that I've always <laughs> liked, and, and every time it's been on TV a lot recently, and I'll catch it on TV. Is the shot of him floating in the sky with the tank. Mm. That's a shot I really really dig. But um, you know, look, it it introduces really to the, you know. To Cavill, for the most part, I mean, he's you know he's in a couple of things here and there, but of course, you play Superman, you're going to get jettisoned into stardom, and it I just, will say I do dig Cavill, yeah, like himself. Uh, he's got a good look for Superman, he does, and good voice too, yeah, a good voice, and especially now, uh, you know, in in uh, you know uh, jumping into the future of the series, like we've seen a little, uh, you know, a Superman with a little bit more levity, like he, I feel like he could play the part of you know the Superman that I want. Uh, in a, in a Superman movie, um, with like you know vibrant blues and reds and yellows in his suit. Oh my god! <laughs> and those pretty blue eyes, mm. Mm. baby hairy, blues, and the hairy chest. Yeah, but not a hairy face. Well, again, like like you know, we we've done or commentaries. I, I wouldn't mind a hairy face Superman. No, we, we get, get, you get him. You get him. It's true. We do. Yeah. Mm. Um, also, I <laughs> think it's I think it's cute. I think this is cute. I know almost everyone I've talked to does not think it's cute. But Jason Momoa has asked. I think this is the story. Basically, is he asked if it could be canon that the he sent the whales to save Clark in the uh, after the oil rig explosion? Yeah, I'm fine with that. Um, I, he I knew, half he expected knew about his uh, how important he was. Like, I half expected there to be some kind of like little hint at it in Justice League. Uh, yeah, I thought they were going to do that too. Like, I fucking saved your sh- shit. Also, oh, you? Yeah, I or, saved you before. We're talking about like the gravity hammers in the Indian Ocean. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Yeah. Which they don't mention either. Yeah. Um, 
But we don't get that much Atlantis in, in Justice League. No. Yeah, oh, Apparently, there's a lot more shots. Honestly, I don't like, think Willem anybody... Dafoe is not in the film. Yeah, I know. Willem Dafoe was supposed yeah. to be? Yeah. He was supposed to be like this like Atlantean like, official. Yeah. <sighs> you, uh, he's still in part of the Aquaman cast. Arthur, don't tell Mara. Um, <laughs> but uh, I used to be the Green Goblin. <laughs> Uh, Spider Man's Willem Dafoe. Yeah, <laughs> not bad, not bad. Um, Spider Man Two's Willem Dafoe. <laughs> Spider Man Three's Willem Dafoe. <laughs> <laughs> um, so anyway, look, you know what? Like we we we've we've done commentary for Man of Steel. We've talked a lot about Batman v Superman. You know, we've really driven that to the ground. Like the, the overall thing with that is like, you know, they didn't fix Superman at all. They yeah. actually made it worse. It's the worst betrayal i think i've ever seen of superman in a movie and not 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 uh 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 not no 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 no. i mean he you know how much you know you can't what he's supposed to smile when he goes there's no more you know gets it you know no one stays good in this world oh like slowly (laughs) flies away and no one stays good in this world (laughs) ha ha yeah Yeah. remember uh, i remember josh got like so offended when i was like remember that scene where he like fucking cries in the like congressional building that gets bombed show me one tear i'm like fuck off he's just like (laughs) like there's the explosion he has that look he's like yeah but he's still a bad guy yeah Yeah, yeah, the explosion go off he's like ah shit fuck and then like he's like helping somebody like in the extended cut and the emt's like go away thank you he's like oh (laughs) he's like superman was never real um it just it's it is a total total mess and like and superman does not benefit at all like i said you know my one of my favorite moments is the moment when he like hears about this shit in like mexico and he loosens his tie to run off and you're like oh (laughs) i feel a little superman tingle but um (laughs) Then you have like this slow montage of him, like oh, fuck, I gotta save these idiots. Yeah. Um, like how yeah, long? Seemed, how long were those like people on the roof going? We're fucking drowning. And Superman's like, oh. he's just like floating in the air. <laughs> Shit. Yeah. Fuck. Mm-hmm. Hey, you know, no one stays good in this world. So like, I'm doing you guys a fucking favor. So yeah. hold on tight. If I you... was waiting until you finished painting that S yeah. on the roof. And guess what? <laughs> if you fucking fall, I'm not catching you because I have like a lot of shit to do and yeah. I have a deadline to write about the high school football team. Mm-hmm. So get on my back and let's do this. The Gotham Knights are playing the Metropolis Hoo-Hahs. Who has? Yeah, I think it's Meteors. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Our team's named after our worst tragedy. <laughs> well, Smallville. Smallville. Smallville's worst tragedy. tragedy. Yeah. The um. If you think about it, well, this is some. This is a quibble. Small, but, Smallville's world of weird. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is this is a quibble, but in the uh, Henry Cavill verse, he's Clark Joseph Kent. Mm-hmm. In DC Comics, he's Clark Jerome Kent. That's right. Whoa. That's right. That's fucked up. Fuck you, Zack Snyder. Yeah. Fuck you. Um. <laughs> <laughs> I think they did it as a nod to like Joe Schuster. But yeah, yeah. Jerome was a nod to Jerry Siegel. So well, now you know. Now we get. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, let's they, they call. Go, yeah. let's call Bruce Finger Wayne. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I want to do. Is that the Tom Waits? Oh, Blackberry. Oh, Blackberry. Family. Follow the turn. Is the zero dollar beer route? <laughs> yeah, slow hammer in the face and the knees. I want to watch the first. I want to watch that scene with you, fucking the Punisher scene. Because yeah, we're, that we are first not, fight. Chris, we are not exaggerating how bad the music cue yeah. is. I mean, yeah, after yeah. this episode, maybe I can pop it on. Well, oh, I, I, we have to, please. I just want, <laughs> not, not the whole episode, just that moment. Yeah, it up. comes at the very end. Zip it up. It's a long fucking episode. Zip it up. Flip flop. Um. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's very, very, and like they waste the death of Superman. Yes, that's, that's the worst. Yeah. thing and look I mean, when the justice league trailer they don't do it a lot in the movie in the trailer they don't they just, do it justice oh, shit. <laughs> they do this like really long beautiful speech that batman gives in one of the trailers about superman's peak of hope and, blah, blah, blah. and i remember we were at uh, i think san diego saying when that dropped and we were talking about it like over dinner and i was like no he's know, not i was like well no i said you know everything that they say in that trailer is true we have seen none of that mm. yeah um and you know, wasting the death of Superman is it being like everyone fucking hated. They didn't fucking hate some kids did, but like nobody really liked Superman. And you waste this like monumental moment, and then you bring it, was it the back. First time it was the first time that I felt like the the anti Superman. You know, like whatever the like oh, aliens don't no aliens. Yes, yeah. like I was like this is the first time that I feel that those people are kind of justified in their fear of Superman. Sure, 
Like most of the time in the comics, I'm like, look at how much good he's doing. How could you hate him just for being from another planet? Also, I'd be like, it, like when the news came out that Superman died saving the city, I'd be like, how the fuck did Bruce, did Batman, not die? What did he? Yeah, you know, um, he's pointless in that movie. His I do power like is he's rich. I do like uh, BVS batman more than justice league batman mm. and let's, let's that's his debut so he wants to make a good impression and then yeah. by justice league he's like nobody likes these movies yeah <laughs> yeah um i'm gonna fix these movies i didn't fix anything but let, so <laughs> again you know like i said it, there, a lot of wasted potential and opportunity with bvs which is a problem and yeah. a bummer um some okay shots but just a, a, kind of a mess but you know highlights wonder woman of course yep. uh, introduction of her and then uh, i liked uh batshit crazy batman yeah um but then again, we get another let's fix this universe mm-hmm. um, in terms of uh, the, the Superman uh, kind of unofficial, whatever you want to call it, trilogy with Justice League, mm-hmm. which is what we really want to talk about. And they did a, I, I will say they did a better job of fixing the universe in this one yes. than now, they did in BVS. If you, if, 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 because there are fans out there that love what Snyder's done with the, the you know, Man of Steel and yeah. Batman v Superman. They love that dark gritty thing. They think, you know, they really dig it. That's fine. I, you know, whatever. Those people have to be fucking pissed because, like, I mean, the thing is, and I'm glad. Joss that, Whedon ruined yeah, my Superman. I'm glad that they have moved towards this direction. I'm not complaining, but it is jarring as shit. Like, with Batman especially, he's the one that suffers the most mm-hmm. because he's like. He kind turns of into stupid, like a party dude. Stupid goofball. Not party dude. No, yeah. that's that's Momo and I love it. Yeah. But he turns into like stupid goofball with yeah. like this death wish. Now, granted, Batman has always kind of had a death wish, but like yeah. he, he, at one point, Aquaman. Tom King, he's suicide. Yeah. Aquaman basically calls him out at one point. He's like, Your plan was just to fucking drive into uh, Branch World and die. <laughs> he's like, oh, yeah. yeah. No, nah, my Batman was broken again. <laughs> fucking thing. Falls asleep. <laughs> but, um,. Yeah, I mean, you know, yeah, it's just, my Batmobile broke a wheel. You know what? The my favorite Joker got away. Yeah, and uh, I feel like I've been super harsh with Batman on this this pod, like this podcast overall, and that's not true. I mean, I love I've been reading the Tom King stuff, and I really do love Batman. But we love Batman. We love Batman. He's so cool. Um, <laughs> he's just like all of us. <laughs> but my favorite scene in Justice League with Batman, and we'll get to Superman, is there is a scene after he gets his shit kicked in by Superman and he like awkwardly holds his like just the skin of his face, not him by the neck. He's like, I'm going to hold your chin and do you bleed. And like, you know, whatever with a uh, return of Superman, Batman is like, everyone kind of is like, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. And they're back in the cave and he goes back to like change and he's like all fucked up and he like lifts up his shirt and his back's all bruised and he's like broken and he doesn't let anyone see that. You know, he's like, oh, fuck. Ugh. And Wonder Woman comes in and they have this kind of nice conversation where he's like, Look, I'm trying to. I can't inspire this team. Like I, I, I can't do it. It's not in me to inspire this team. But you can. You know why haven't you know? You need to do this because he he does a very Batman thing, which is he plays. You know he's an asshole anyway, but he plays the asshole up by dropping Steve Trevor's name. Like he uses that to incite. Boom. That felt like a very Batman thing to do. Because later on he's like, you know, I had to do what I had to do. Um, a baby's got to do what a baby's got to do. Yes. Whatever that means. It's Rugrats quote. Um, There's so much Reptar shit. I know. I love it. They yeah. have Reptar cereal at uh, at FYE, which yeah. is kind of cool. It just looks like Fruit Loops. But um, basically, is. I was like, oh shit, that makes me like remember those. FYE days. is like now a food distributor yeah. as well yeah. as music and movies. But they, anyway, they had this nice conversation, and you know, he's like, you know, you can even just, you know, if, if you survive tonight, you can hide in the shadows of you want. I don't want to force you anymore. But like. You know, you you know, you can even just as a bad. I won't sue you. But he also has that moment too, where he talks about Superman, which we've kind of been echoing ever since we've recorded ourselves on a podcast, where he's like, you know, Superman's more human than I am, and you know, he's like, he fell in love and got a job, and you know, went out and did these things. He's the inspiration we need. We don't have that. Um, and I like like the quiet moments of that, where he's like Bruce Wayne and kind of like, you know, you know, playing up the idea that yeah, he is this mortal guy. But one of the things I think that they could have done in the movie that I thought would have been so fucking cool and the way that Batman inspires is with actions not with words would have been he goes in and they're fighting all the parademons and for Aquaman it's not that big of a deal because he's like Superman underwater Wonder Woman she's the greatest warrior in the DC universe the Flash is just running around tripping all over the place but at least he can run around and push people out of the way and, and it's really not that big of a deal for him 
Batman is Cyborg has free Wi Fi. Cyborg's there. I, I really, I actually, <laughs> I, I, I like Cyborg. I, I wasn't sure how I'd feel about like Cyborg not knowing much about the character, but I thought he was all right. Yeah. Um, I thought his arc was He's okay. Better than I was expecting. He was interesting. He had yeah. interesting things going on with him, and uh, supposedly a lot of his shit was cut. I, I would like to see him shoulder check the tank like in the trailer, but that's Ooh. not in there. Yeah, you should probably move. Um, but is you get a scene where Batman is going against the Parademons, right? And like. Aquaman and all the other members are doing their shit fucking poof, 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 and they see Batman like take a couple out like oh shit oh shit because like they'd be the guys sitting there like when Batman's in another room going they're like yo he's like old man like do you see how easily Superman fucking kicked his ass like we at least had our own for a second we could take a hit that guy got thrown into a fucking car he showed up late like he like he had to like run and he shows up <gasps> he should guys <sighs> Uh, guys, I was blocking. I was protecting the mother box, but no one's gonna take it. And then they fucking steal it. I was like, "You jam. guys are dumb." Um, there was a traffic jam. Yeah, <laughs> but anyway, and it's again because like they, they don't know what to do with Batman. But you, anyway, so like the league is like doubting Batman, right? And Batman knows the league's doubting Batman because he's like he's this old man, he's broken and stuff. But you, the way you get him to, like that, be like, "That's the fucking Batman. That's the goddamn Batman." Is you have a scene where he goes in, he takes a couple of parademons out, then he gets a couple, you know, a couple to get the jump on him, right? And it's not as, like, badass and smooth as the warehouse fight scene, right? But you see a moment where, like, Aquaman sees it. Wonder Woman knows about it already, but Aquaman sees it. Flash it definitely because he's super impressionable. And Cyborg sees it because they're all doubting him. And they see this broken 40-some-year-old man getting beat down by the parademons. But starts, like, fucking rocking him left and right. He's, like, bloody and beaten. And he's on, it like, one knee. And he just keeps fighting. And they keep taking him out. And he keeps fighting. Keeps fighting. Keeps fighting. And they're, they're, you're coming on top of him. And they're like, this is a fucking human. This is a 40-year-old broken down human. And look what he's doing. That's the goddamn Batman. It reminds me of the scene from um, uh, uh, The New Frontier. Where Martian Manhunter sees Batman for the first time. And he has this great line where he says, Nancy outfit aside... The man fights. The man fights like the devil himself, and that would have been such a great moment to be like. That's how you get the badass Batman scene. You don't give him a fucking alien gun because he, can't, you know, they're like, we, what do we do? And he's like slow moving, and he just he's so like uninteresting in this movie. Like even from the beginning, when like he's like just like fucking zip lining around the water tower and like sloppy and messy. You know, like I, I would have loved to have seen that moment of Batman b- being able to inspire through his actions because he that's he is all action. You know. His words here and there, I, you know, I like a quiet Batman. But that would have mm-hmm. been great to be like, that's the rallying cry. Oh, this guy that's got no powers, and we have powers, and we're not, we could be doing more. Look at this dude. You know, that would have been cool. But unfortunately, we just get him um, being like, I, I don't not like you, Superman. Like, what the fuck is that? Fuck that. Um, we're going to Superman. What did you guys think about um, how they brought him back in the movie? I thought it was weird. Yes. Yeah. It was... Oh, sorry. Well, I was going to say, tonally, it's also, like, there is, and they say as much, there is something macabre about, like, taking his, like, fucking corpse yeah. out yeah. and, like, like just lowering him. And, like, you see Cyborg yeah. just kind of, like, push him down in the... Or Aquaman. Aquaman. Just, I remember like, people were like, he likes water, so that's why he got the job of pushing him <laughs> in goop. Back down to hell. <laughs> um... The yeah, I uh, I wasn't I wasn't crazy about that. Um, although I did like that it was something that was already established in the universe, you know, because that's what they did in BVS or that's what Lex did in BVS to to make Doomsday a thing. Um, and and it, it like it was kind of similar to uh, like how he's brought back originally in the comic books with like the birthing matrix and you mm-hmm. know it being Kryptonian technology yeah. and stuff like that so I was like okay okay there, there's ties to to, to my folklore mm-hmm. uh, with this um, but uh, it kind of totally makes the end of Batman v Superman with the floating pebbles pointless yes because I remember some people were like Oh, it's you know he's coming back. He's alive, or the mother box stealing him. Yeah, I remember some people were saying that. Now I will say that when you know the way they bring him back, you know, I would have loved, 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 um, if he was like the bad guy, mm. and then boom tube, you know, who you know someone shows up and shit goes down, and they're like yeah. Clark, and again that could be a way like Bruce Wayne. That would have been such a great fucking mirror thing is Batman inspires Superman to be Superman again. Yeah. We that kind cool. of get the, I mean, we kind of get everybody against Superman for a bit. We do. And that, like, but that's why I wanted to like, have him as a villain. How yeah. like great was that scene? I, I like that scene. That was, that was one reason. One thing that was like, for me, like I wanted, 
I wanted the, uh, this movie to be a movie without Superman mm-hmm. for the most part. They did bring it and back then, really quick. Yeah, I would have. I would have much preferred like a maybe like a long con. Okay. With with like the you know idea of like let's bring back Superman, but it's not an instantaneous like thing. they zap or, it and it, nothing happens. Yeah. And then and then like you know it, at the end, you know we get the pebble scene. But for realsies, where he's like, "Oh, I, uh," you know, like (laughs) ten thousand years, exactly." (laughs) And but like that's basically it. Like it's not like a Deus Ex Machina Mm -hmm. where he comes in and like saves the day because hey, I've resurrected. Like no, the the Justice League has to find some way to to have their band of brothers, you know, get together and actually win the day. And then like in the next movie, you know, you have that movie long arc of him trying to rediscover himself yeah and maybe he spends the entire movie at you know the kent family farm with lois you know doing the uh doing uh the what what the the kents did with uh protoplasm supergirl after the the uh, uh you know uh uh after the fucking that it section of the comics in the 90s whatever it was deep cut nice. uh, yeah Superman podcast. yeah because that's well that's tying it all back yeah giving yeah. the shit some fucking cred baby. Mm. Hey. yeah that's the asterisk in the dialogue bubble that tells you to go back <laughs> yeah, and read nice, nice. Superman number 142 mm-hmm. um, I don't know what happens in Superman 142 <laughs> sorry <laughs> I, I do know that Superman uh, I think it's Superman number 100 is the death of Clark Kent um, uh, 75 oh is it 75 yeah. god damn what's Superman 100 I remember there was a big thing it. Whatever. It was 25 <laughs> issues later. So, what is it, Superman podcast? <laughs> <laughs> so it was about no, I agree with you. I, yeah. I think you know, I was again. It's a problem. That's a that's a problem with the movie being too short for me. Is like they yeah. bring Superman back pretty quick. Mm-hmm. I do. And like, I mean, it's it's kind of also just the logline of the entire universe is Russian. Mm-hmm. Yeah. No. Yeah. I mean, again, the the movies do mirror the problems of behind the scenes stuff. And like, it would have been kind of funny if like Superman fucks up everybody, right, mm-hmm. and then flies away. And they're like, uh oh, <laughs> like <laughs> oh shit, oh fuck. I um, did like that Lois was the the big thing gun. that brought him that brought him back. It's like Iris with Barry; mm-hmm. she yeah. grounds him. Yeah, mm-hmm. um, I, and I it, we, or like Black Widow with the Hulk. Yeah, which yeah. makes total sense. Yeah, uh, that's another Joss Whedon joint. Yeah. The, hey. uh, the uh, I do love. That Superman is the first person that can see Flash moving at his. Oh, like, that was so his, fucking good. Oh yeah, oh, I <laughs> so love, fucking I, good. As as soon as the Flash was running around uh, Superman, just, I was and like they cut to that shot of Superman like behind, yeah. behind over his shoulder. Yeah, I was like, please turn yes. your head. And then he does. Well, and the I'm best like, thing ah! he does for first is he turns his eyes first. Oh yeah, that's and right, Barry's yeah. like, no. And then he turns his head. And I was like, fuck <laughs> yes. And it's like normal speed too. It's yeah. not that stupid. Like no, no, he just. And you know, and then and like, as much as I love all the Justice League characters, it was so satisfying seeing Superman beat the shit out of all of them. Yeah. Like I loved it, just like, bam, bam, you know, just fucking rocking them left and right. Closest it gets, the person that gives him the most trouble is Wonder Woman. Make, that makes sense. Yeah, she yeah. headbutts him, and she hits butts. Yeah, and he's like, oh, and then he picks her up and he's like, fuck this shit. <laughs> um, but uh, I and that scene was great. I think that scene was 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 pretty great. Um, you know him you know the scene that got me emotional both times is Mar- him and Martha reconnecting oh, and too, that was man. so me fucking too. heavy man oh I, w- my God. I wish I wish we got more of that it cuts right as it starts I to know, get real fucking I know. good and it, then not only that not only is it cut away it cuts to fucking Steppenwolf That's with the right. mother boxes jiggling his nuts That's mm-hmm. right yeah no the scene and like it, it got me so hard the first time <laughs> is where like and it's a great thing that like it's a thing that Cavill has to do, you know, because it's not it's not a spoken thing. It's he hugs Lois, and then he tilts his head and he's like, "You called mom," and you know the the the. This is why you get Diane Lane. Like when she gets you out smell of smell nice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> when you get out of the car, when she gets out of the car, it's like denial and confusion on her face, and then that rush, and then it's in a cornfield. The music sw- It's like it's a perfect. Like full circle moment to what's now my favorite moment in the original Superman movie, where she has to let him go, you know, and like they're in the field. I think he's even wearing the same fucking outfit. He's wearing the same shirt. He's wearing yeah, he's wearing the flannel shirt that he's wearing when he leaves in in, in Superman the movie from the Sam Stone collection. <laughs> Sam Stone collection, baby. Um, <laughs> Available at Kmart. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. we saw it at J C Penney. <laughs> um, 
but moving on up. That scene was was so <laughs> fucking great. Yeah. And you know the problem is again, the movie's the Justice League, so it's like they're like okay, and then that's really the last that we see Superman right until he decides to throw the suit on the bright, the wonderfully br- mm. bright colored suit and has full color. And I loved it because all I those ro- know, I, uh, RGBs. Yeah, I know <laughs> how he shows up. You know, when I saw it the second time and I was waiting for the crowd reaction because the first time I saw it, people fucking cheered. Just sitting there like, uh, yeah. Well, people fucking cheered the first time I saw it because it's off, it's off screen. Yeah. You know, I believe in truth, you know, you know, and I I'm also a big fan of justice. justice and fucking rocks that piece of shit into the but wall. Not the American way. Yeah. 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 Well, they're in Russia. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, 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 earlier I was about to say, I'm so glad that they didn't destroy a city. And then I was like, oh, wait, no. Even though that city was in shambles before they started, they still destroyed it. Yeah. But. That was before Just Lee got there. Yeah. Yeah, that's mm-hmm. true. Steppenwolf destroyed that city. Yeah. Just to add it to the pile of reasons why Steppenwolf fucking blows. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And I mean, well, but, but it, I think more so it was like, oh, good. They didn't destroy New York again yeah. or Metropolis. You know, insert whatever city here. Yeah. Uh, Major like, American Burg. Yeah. And the big blue laser in the sky was like a means of transportation, not the plot point to yeah. destroy everything in the movie. It's a boom a tube. Boom tube. tube. Cool. tube. But, um, you know, like just the little things like, you know, seeing Superman like smile and like the relief on the Justice League. And at the end when they like Superman <laughs> Batman face. Yeah. Oh! oh, my God. That's going to be my profile picture forever when I get a snapshot. Oh, it's so good. It's on me forever. Oh. Um, <laughs> is when Cyborg and Superman, like, pull apart the mother boxes. Mm. And, like, when Superman's struggling, you know that shit's fucking tough. Yeah. Um, but, like, they get, z- they get, they get like, blasted oh, back. Yeah, and and for, both, some like, reason, Batman, for, Batman, for some reason, Batman's like, Clark! But, like, Cyborg's out there, too, motherfucker. Like, yeah. yeah. But, like... Uh, He's B-team. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, super- he was, he he expected Cyborg to die. He was surprised yeah. that Superman. But like died. Superman, <laughs> Superman and Cyborg like laughed together. After yeah, it. that was so funny. That, yeah, no, also, that, was, that was a nice lethal weapon moment. Yeah, it was. Yeah, good, good oh, call. yeah, snake eyes. Snake eyes. Um, guys like us don't die on toilets. Yeah, supposedly <laughs> lethal weapons. Donald uh, Danny Glover. <laughs> oh, lethal weapons. Danny Glover. That's right. Um, and Rene Russo. Joe Pesci. That, that doesn't happen until three and, and four. And Joe Pesci. Yeah. And uh, two? two, three, and four. <laughs> and uh, Chris Rock. Am I missing anybody? Four. four. Am mm. I missing anybody from. Hmm. Who could oh, be? Oh, sorry. Daddy's Home 2. <laughs> Mel Gibson. Yes. Melly Gibbs. Melly Gibbs. <laughs> Melly Gibbs. Um, Bloodfathers. Mel Gibson. Oh, man, that movie fucking rule, dude. <laughs> Oof. God, that movie fucking rule. I think you like that movie, Chris. Yeah. You should watch it. Well, you need to start. Mel and me. Mel, oh, maybe we're not going to do that anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> this is not a good time to be doing Mel and me. Maybe ever. Maybe, yeah. I was about to say, you think two years ago would have been a no, good time? No, <laughs> but now is not a good time. Yeah. Oh, boy. Back to, back to Superman. Um, Supposedly, I, I, I did not watch Teen Titans Go, but supposedly... Cyborg saying "booyah" is like a Teen Titans yes. Go thing. Okay, well, yeah. and also that, that made me smile not, this time because I knew yeah. that was a thing. Not just not just Teen Titans Go, but like <laughs> Go. Yeah. What are you fucking surfer, dude? <laughs> yeah. Hi, I'm Chris Nolan. Today we're going to talk about Superman and Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go. Teen Titans Go. Uh, but no, so like uh, the the original or not the original because I'm sure there's been millions. But no, uh, this is the only one. The the Teen Titans cartoon that came before Teen Titans Go which was just simply called Teen Titans oh, okay. uh, and Teen Titans Go which is like a continuation mm-hmm, of that mm-hmm. yeah Booyah was a big thing well, that's cool I'm glad that that's nice then for people yeah. who like knew that because like, I, I I knew that from one of the podcasts do they mention it in Batman, I was like, Batman yeah no I was like oh. so the second time I was like I, I got a little tingle from that one the second mm. time even though I didn't watch that show yeah um but uh, no, I mean I think you With know Steppenwolf. It is a <laughs> balls. <laughs> it's a step in the right direction, you know, uh, on all accounts. Really, I mean, you know, they're gonna have to find someone with like a vision that they all share they, and move they, forward with. The the Wonder Woman was a big step in the right direction. Yeah, and then Justice League was a follow up. Like Baby you know, step. your left foot following your right foot, but not quite and overtaking you shake it, it all about. Yeah, they still need another movie to actually get the left foot past the right sure. foot. Yeah. Um, There's an analogy. Oh, that was good, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, I, that was good. It was a very visual analogy, which uh-huh. is great for this audio yeah. medium. <laughs> We're on YouTube now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> check us out on YouTube. Yeah, I guess this is breaking the YouTube thing first. Uh, technically, my wrestling podcast oh, did. Fucking snake eyes. Dude. Snake eyes. Yeah, yeah baby. And and uh, and uh, two days ago. Oh, I was... forgot to plug that on the weekly episode. Oh, yeah. Shit. It'll, no, it's it, it it it's it's a surprise. Like. 
insert wrestler's name showing up at insert wrestling event here <laughs> being a shock. It's like Chris Jericho coming back. Yeah, Chris Jericho coming to WWF. Who? Y2J. Uh, or like Chris Jericho going to New Japan Pro Wrestling in January to fight Kenny Omega. Topical. Yeah, it topical. is super topical. Topical. Yeah. Um. <laughs> So yeah, I mean, again, you know, it's we like the we, Rock returning for WrestleMania. If you want to hear us, if you want to hear basically me lose my shit about the CG mustache thing, you know, it's that's on the Catching Up show. You guys will hear that. I I don't want to go into that whole thing again. Mm-hmm. I thought it was terrible and I hated it. That's about it. And I thought, you know, it Cavill's thing. I, I'd be pissed if I was Henry Cavill because it ruined a pretty pretty solid Superman performance. Yeah. You know what they should have been looking for. They should have just um, Caesar Romero wrote it. Yeah, <laughs> just put. Flesh it's a nice mustache, on. though. You know, yeah. he said that, like, because they were like, oh, what was it like being in a suit with a mustache? He said, like, he, you know, he has dots all over his face, and then they'd have to lift the mustache off his lip. <laughs> so it's, like, sticking up and looking weird. No wonder his lip looks so weird. <laughs> During the post credit scenes, there's that great little Flash Superman race. Mm-hmm. We all know, if you've read Flash Rebirth, this Flash beats the shit out it's of It's like Superman. every time they do it, Clark. For Charity Clark. Boom! Yeah. It, every time, every time they do it in the comics, the other person wins. I feel like. Yeah. Well, the Reber said it straight because he beats the shit out of Superman. Mm. And Superman's like, oh no! But I do like they have that moment where like Flash is like doing his like sloth run. Yeah. Where he's like running and like Superman pulls, pulls up behind him. He's like, what's up? <laughs> you know, oh what? Oh, I'm not, yeah. Is that a bead of sweat? Yeah. Because I'm not. But uh, anyway, th- I I do like that. One of the worst moments of the facial hair debacle though is where he turns to the profile and it looks like a chunk of his upper lips missing mm. um Damn. you know but, i feel like they could have now that we're talking about it mm-hmm. i feel like they could have done that opening like the cell phone scene they could have like been like oh it's a child interviewing him so the kid's only getting like the s oh that would have been fucking oh, dope been so fucking oh, good that would have been dope oh, chris joss whedon hire me for your cinematography that's the yeah. dopest shit i've ever heard <gasps> that was so good Two also, birds, one stone. A cute little like visual thing to be like, oh, it's a child. And two, you're not showing the shitty CGI that took Jake out of the movie. What do you think his answer was going to be? Because you don't, you don't hear his answer. I, uh, you'll have to remind me of the question. Well, it's basically, you know, what's your favorite part of Earth? Isn't mm-hmm. that basically what it is? Like, what's your favorite shit? Oh, what's your favorite thing about? Yeah, what's your favorite? Thing about Earth, yeah. Lois Lane's poon tank. Oh shit! A lot of people were saying that like it's Lois Lane, yeah. and I was like, he wouldn't. No, he wouldn't. He, w- say that, he no. wouldn't concentrate on that. I think no. honestly, he'd look up, smile, and be like the people. Yeah, yeah. Um, I, I thought that's be, a very Superman answer. Yeah, and I thought there'd be a payoff for it, but his yeah. smile was perfect, and I was like, that's when I was that like, that's when I was like, oh shit, that would it would have been it's cute. Happening. We're getting it. It would have been cute to like at the end, you know, bookend it. Yeah, uh, and. Like just like as the credits are about to roll, like kind of cut back into that video and be like, "So Superman, what's your favorite <laughs> part about being on Earth?" And he's like, "The people, the people, you know. boom, boom, the people, boom, bum, 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 They got that. Bum, bum. Do you hear that? Do you hear the fucking nod to John Williams' I score? I, I missed it the first time. I was like, so like, oh fuck, and then like <laughs> on the bottom it said like John Williams. Yeah. I was like, Superman. Did you like, did you catch the nod to Batman's score? Oh, baby. because. Be- <laughs> because it hits you like a brick in the small of the back. Ooh, mm. it was okay. The, the first time you really get it is when he's like, Commissioner Gordon's looking through like trash tarp. And he's like, Yeah, there he is, that fucking weirdo <laughs> acting like a gargoyle. Like, I'm here. And then he fucking jumps down. He's like, mm, Slow mo. <laughs> yeah. yeah, oh, my back. <laughs> <laughs> um, but uh, the best is when he busts out the back of the that carrier in the Batmobiles. Mm. Like, really kind yeah. of subtle. I was like, oh, fuck yeah. It was, it was almost like a, a Bond sting. Where it's just uh, the, the the where it just has that little you know the little five notes. Da, 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 da. Thank yeah. you. Or because we've been talking about music, it completely yeah. escaped me. It do, it does it really well in Skyfall. It goes bang. Yeah. Like yeah. When he opens the thing. It's got the Aston except Martin. for in like Goldeneye, where I was like, wow. Yeah. <laughs> Sex <laughs> guitar. Um, <laughs> you know, I think Man of Steel to kind of like end it, but I think Man of Steel ends with a. Gr- I love the way Man of Steel ends with the line, "You know, welcome to the planet." Welcome to Earth. Yeah, welcome to the planet. He's like, happy to be here. Glad to be here. Happy to be here, boss. Happy to be here. Great. Swell. Great. This ends just as even better because we get the shirt rip. All I've, mm. all I've been waiting for since Man of Steel, I thought there was going to be a post credit scene where he runs down the fucking thing, rips shirt open. Because I like that's my favorite thing. Like I, In terms of all the iconic things about Superman, the spit curl, the glasses, the... the Joss Whedon the was like, you know, no, no, no. this Jake kid, yeah, he's this got this dumbass. podcast. The shirt rips, all I wanted, and they had all the best outfit about, for it. Yeah. 
Yeah. All he talks about is seeing this guy rip his shirt open. Mm. He yeah. does it, mm. and it's like you just what if, look up in the sky. What if he did it, and he didn't have the Superman suit on, but his chest hair was shaved into the S? Fine. Would, that, fine. would that do it for you? <laughs> totally fine. <laughs> I mean, it'd do it for me. Totally fine. Totally. Yeah. <laughs> um, but that it was would be that was swell. Great. And I was so fucking happy about the that was that was swell. That was good. Swell but yeah, I, I I was I, <laughs> I I was very pleased with Henry Cavill's performance. If we're if we're yeah. zoning in on just the Superman stuff, which is the Superman podcast, yes, and we've said, we said it a million times how <laughs> much it? we thought it was such a fun, <laughs> not Kevin uh, Costner, a, a fun Ooh. movie. Oh man, mm. the, the cost that. of Costner, the cost of Costner, Kevin's <gasps> Costner, <Ooh. laughs> Man of Steel's Kevin Costner, yeah, oh, boom, boom, Batman v, v Superman, Dawn of Dawn Justice's, Justice's <laughs> Kevin, Kevin Costner. Costner. <laughs> um, Chris, final thoughts on Superman. Love him. He's uh, he's uh, he he's what inspires me to become a better person. Fantastic. Yeah, I've enjoyed this two parter. I'm I'm probably never going to talk this to you is, again. Yeah, right. <laughs> I should get you it. on it more. Yeah, yeah. Uh, th- this was impressive because both parts were like full length episode yeah. size. It was well, smart to cut it into I mean, two parts. We've basically done this um, every couple episodes. <laughs> like we're always <laughs> like, hey, let's talk about Superman. Um, but now it's forever here. But mm-hmm. so, like mm-hmm. I said, I mean, remember. Remember when uh, on on our Lethal Weapon podcast and we just cast yeah we cast Death the Death of Superman, Superman yeah <laughs> and they didn't listen um, no but uh, if you want a little bit more in depth excuse me about the movie as a whole you know check out the catching up episode out Wednesday out Wednesday we go a little bit more like broad you know just talk about Batman and Superman we go a little bit broader um, but like I said you know overall we 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 thought it was really fun it was a step in the right direction uh, you know still got its think problems here and there. But hopefully, you know, like Sam says, you know, we want to see more from this universe. Mm-hmm. And that's the best thing you could say about it. Yeah, you know, I agree. I, I was ready for you, Sam, to hate the fuck out of it. Mm. And I was glad that you didn't. I mean, um, it really, the Superman uh, face aside, like, that was a great way to start it. Yeah. Um, the idea of, like, the world is still reeling with a world without Superman, mm-hmm. you know. It just wasn't We've earned, seen the like funeral for it. a friend. Yeah. Um, so, I get that. Yeah. <laughs> So, comics, <laughs> <laughs> comics, <laughs> yeah, guys, um, yeah, you know. So it was. I'm trying to think the mo- the point where I was like, yeah, okay, <laughs> like where I was like, like the moment where like Oscar Isaac dies in the Ex Machina, mm-hmm. where he's just like, yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, I, I will say the uh, the there's a moment I forget the exact moment, but it's it's pretty early on. W- in the the final fight scene mm-hmm. pretty early on after superman gets there mm-hmm. that like basically like the first shot of like oh it's superman and like it kind of like does like a like a uh, like a oh, oh up and down of like the suit in its full color that i was just like oh mm-hmm. superman i think it was the return of it was the return of the resurrection of clark kent that where i was like okay because there's moments like with the Amazons and stuff and the Atlanteans where I'm like, why is this happening? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Like, I get why it's happening. Yeah. But Maybe you see a Green Lantern. Yeah. That was, I, I, I did like, I, like I, that. Th- I thought that was cute. And I was like, ooh. There goes the ray. Yeah. Next, uh, next movie, maybe we get a, a, a Green Lantern. Little, mm-hmm. uh, get, a, uh, <laughs> get him part of the team. Was little, that uh, was Ryan that, Reynolds? Was that big man firing lasers? <laughs> or lasers. <Jesus. laughs> Electricity? Electricity. Is that a nod to like oh, Shazam yeah, is that World? Zeus, or it could be. I it could be the wizard. He's just young yeah. and attractive and fucking jacked. Shazam! Yeah, it and could then be he becomes Shazam himself. Yeah, Shazam himself. Yeah. yeah. Who knows? At first, I was like, "Oh, he looks like the DC Comics character Hercules," but I don't remember him being the master of lightning. Because they say gods, and then they mm-hmm. point to like you know, yeah, Zeus is the master of lightning. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe it's Zeus. Maybe it's Zeus. I, or or I, Lord I, Raiden. Yeah. yeah yes. when, I, when I saw Lightning for the first time, I was like, maybe it was something like Shazam related and it could be like just like young, like CW Shazam wizard. Hmm. Yeah. We'll find we'll find out. There's a Shazam. Be like, you know, I fought him once. I was jacked. Yeah. Now I'm an old man in a subway station. <laughs> <laughs> I'm looking forward to Shazam. Me too. I, I like that character Zach a lot. Zach Levi is Captain Marvel. Yeah. yeah. yeah I, I like that good. character a lot. I think, I think, Cena, he, he, but you know, whatever. Yeah, I, know. <laughs> I haven't seen a lot of, of, of that, of that actor, but you know, he's what I've seen. He has like, I that. mean, he was in Thor, Thor Ragnar- Ragnar- yeah, Ragnar- Thor Ragnarok, Ragnar- Zachary Levi. Yeah. yeah. But and, and dark world, right? And dark world. Cause yeah, yeah they recast. It was Josh Dallas in the yeah. Thor prime. 
and uh, but he he seems to have that kind of like childhood wonder. Yeah, he does. You so. should watch uh, the the Chuck. That's right. Isn't Tito all on that? Yes. Yes. Shit. <laughs> now I will watch it. I'm mm. sure Josh is listening, and his eyebrows just raised. I hope you are, Josh. <laughs> or he's Josh like Superman uh, You know, arms wide. Like, why haven't you been watching it? Yeah, but not saying it. I don't think he listens to us anymore. Yeah. Oh well, that's sad. <laughs> I hope he does. I hope he finds this. Yeah. All the, hey, if you I mean, went, I saw hey, Justice League with him. He's mm. cool. He's for good. for He's good. for any mm. podcast listeners. Well, I knew he'd love it. He, he like he likes all of them. Yeah. Looking for another episode of Superman Sessions. All you need to do is look up in the sky. This has been Superman Sessions. I'm Jake. I'm Sam. And I'm Chris. Good night. And good luck. Bye. It's been real. <laughs> Have a good time. Go see Justice League. Bye. For real. <laughs> Fuck it, I don't give a shit. Bum, 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 bum. This has been another Geek Out production. If you enjoyed what you heard, hey, you know, we've got a special episode every Friday. Of course, there's the usual catching up show every Wednesday. And you get book club episodes just about every Tuesday these days. Thanks for listening.